Hiring managers of Reddit. What is the most bizarre accomplishment someone has put on a resume? Giving injections to birds medicine. Found it hilarious that they felt it necessary to clarify the injections were medicine. As opposed to say H. I once took an application from a guy who, when asked if he was convicted of any felonies, wrote no in pen, circled it, underlined the circle, drew arrows to the underlined circle, and didn't finish the rest of the application. Just a cashier. A guy with a resume came in asking for our manager who wasn't there. The dude handed me the resume and I asked if he was looking for part time or full time. Yada yada. He left and on his resume he included a list of vegetables he can cut. Which is cool and all, but it's a pet store. Working at a job placement agency. I have seen every terrible resume ever. My manager at a fast food place told me that someone put down that they got level 99 in Diablo 2 Hardcore. She asked me if this was impressive. I said yes. I was interviewing a young man that said he was fluent in German. I then spoke German to him. He did not speak German. Luna. A candidate listed himself as president of the Oregon chapter of the Third Amendment Defense League. I told him that I didn't see many abuses of the Third Amendment, and he said, then you see how successful we are. I was impressed. I'll save you a minute. The Third Amendment, Amendment 3, to the United States Constitution places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, forbidding the practice in peacetime. Direct quote champion of the rock paper scissor at university. A guy that I work with, who had no experience with the job he was going for, was asked by my boss why should I hire you instead of the other people who have come in here. He replied because I'm better than them. My boss walked away into another room and laughed his head off. That guy is one of the top 3 workers where I work. It would be a mistake not to hire me. I fit all of the requirements. I can start immediately. And this is a field I've wanted to work in for years. That got me job. Good attention to detail was probably my favorite from the latest round of resumes I looked at. He placed that there to make you laugh. I was interviewing someone for a position a few years ago. And his resume was nothing but famous people he had met. He got mad when I explained to him that shaking hands with John Kerry is not an accomplishment. Clearly shows his personable nature and networking skills. A friend of mine's resume says sub 10 second Rubik's Cube solve. She has had to demonstrate it several times. But in all honesty, it is really impressive. Back in school I was cubing for around a year and was really happy with my 21 second record. Would put the sub 10 in my resume 24 stroke 7. Not a hiring manager. But I once listed can use both hands at the same time as one of my skills. The manager would later tell me that was why she hired me over the other applicants. I used to work in a movie rental store. This guy turned an application in and under previous occupation he put hired killer. So naturally my manager had to interview him. He was a soldier who just got out of the army after doing two tours in Iraq. Pretty cool guy. A little jumpy though. Oh. He was serious. Oh. When my best friend was in school, her teacher had the class make BS resumes just so they would know how in the future. Unfortunately for her, when she actually was looking for a job later on, she accidentally sent out her BS resume to quite a few potential employers with paranormal investigator and first female astronaut as her skills achievements. They never called her. I'm tempted to fill in an employment gap in my resume with paranormal investigator now. I have playing the harmonica badly on my resume. It was a good icebreaker in interviews until I was actually asked to demonstrate by a future co-worker. She handed me a $99 plastic toy harmonica and called in 3 more people to the room. I rocked it. I have a similar story. Once in an interview, I was randomly asked for a unique talent I have. In a panic, I told them that I couldn't sing, but would willingly sing anything in front of any audience. That's how my interview ended with a really terrible rendition of I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. Got the job. Under business experience. Sell tiny tables online. I reread that line about 10 times with increasing laughter. When applying to a startup in the Bay Area I was in no way qualified for. I casually mentioned how I was 5th grade class president. Unopposed. Though they were generally recruiting only Ivy near Ivy kids. I did get an initial call back. 
something a friend from a top ranked university did not get when we both applied. Jokes on them. I was 5th grade vice president. Frick you Brittany, your policies sucked. Who the frick spells that? Brittany, I bet her policies were as bad as her life choices that led her to not taking a nickname. This is not an accomplishment but one time someone had a picture of Tupac on their resume. 22 year old guy came into a hole in the wall burrito joint I managed in Australia 2 years ago. I don't have the copy I made anymore, but he was fishing for openings and dropping off resumes at every store in the area, and after he presented himself well, I decided to leaf through it, despite the fact I wasn't hiring. Listed as his skills, second year piano student, RSA certificate attained, Citix 001A and Citix 002A compliant. Two years left on both certificates. Can telepathically converse with dogs. The context. This guy rocked up in business casual. Decent hair. Clean shaven. The works. I would have been surprised if he didn't secure a position that day. Which it turns out he had. As I called him back three weeks down the line when we had an opening. I asked him about his exceptional skills and how they might have translated to working in a fast paced QSR environment. And he laughed and said that he put it in there as a catch. As he felt the document was too dry and needed something to make him memorable, besides his qualifications making him a perfect candidate. So, clearly, it worked. I can count on one hand all the resumes I've seen worth remembering since then, and his would be the only positive one among them. I heard on the radio just the other day that somebody put on their resume entertainment director at the Department of Justice under employment history, which, when asked what that meant, he replied that he was in prison for X amount of years. Not so much an accomplishment, but felt relevant enough to share. It's about interpreting what you can sew into transferable skills. My boss used to tell a story that several years ago he got a nice resume from someone and everything looked good until he found a sentence almost at the end. I'm a natural winner. Before I was even born I won the race against my fellow spermatozoid brothers. Had someone say they weren't afraid to take risks, they sent us a video of them in blackface. I have a new innate mistrust of giraffes, that's interesting. A friend who was a manager at Wendy's got an application from a high school kid. Under previous occupations, he had a job at a candy factory, putting product in boxes. He described it as fudge packer, she hired him. They volunteered at the Quidditch World Cup, not a resume. But I also interviewed and hired a woman with Tourette T E syndrome. She barked when nervous, but as she did not having a swearing tick, I hired her to work for me at the Disney store. She was one of the hardest workers I ever had despite the constant barking. Ha. I also have TS but my main tick is meowing. We would probably not be great working together. Had a girl submit an 8 page resume that did not contain a single bullet point. Thing read like a frickin novel. At one point she mentioned that she was working on a TV project with a close friend who was a well known TV personality and author. Fricked if I know how that was relevant to her job as an airline analyst. Did not get her in for an interview. 8 page resume. Eesh. Had a truck driver come into work with his resume and a paper that was about a page long. On the paper it told his story. He said that when he was 5 he choked on a lollipop. It said he was very sick but got better. This was proof that God wanted him to succeed apparently. Or that God's really lazy when it comes to killing children. Lost 50 pounds in one month. Dude was like 14 years old. I interview quite frequently for technical jobs. One person wrote that he worked at Big Bomb Fireworks. The rest of the resume was capitalized normally. Another person handed in a resume with yes scrawled onto it already, in pen. Maybe he thought that one of us would assume that HR put it there, except he handed it directly to us. It also didn't help that the scroll looked like the chicken scratch of a psychopath. It wouldn't surprise me if the name of the company was Big Bomb Fireworks capitalized just like that. I was helping my boss go through resumes for a director of marketing position. One lady mailed a 4x6 picture of herself with her cell phone number on the back and a winky face. She was very pretty. Hire me and I won't be the only one getting a job, if you know what I mean. One of my MBA classmates had written winner of the cutest baby competition when I was 2 years old. This in a resume going out to top notch consultancies. 
investment banks and MNCs. Unfortunately the authorities removed it in their scrutiny. Seems to me that something like that in the right place can inject a nice bit of humor into an otherwise boring document. It may not count as this was clearly a joke application, but I had a girl turn in a resume which included things like, slew a demon with own two hands, six confirmed dragon kills to date, two more plausible but unconfirmed, proficient with siege equipment, I called her in for an interview just to turn the joke on her head, that didn't work, she showed up in functional full plate, with the crusaders tabard, and another girl acting as her squy carrying a shield, lance, and broadsword. It was hilarious. The best part is the job was for a security guard. Unfortunately she didn't get it. We have a military or police service time requirement and the order of holy fire does not count. That was definitely a bet but tbh nobody would frick with a security guard in full plate armor with a broadsword. Times person of the year in 2006. God that was so stupid and cheesy when time did that. I work at a software company that attracts a fair amount of fanboy resumes. For a couple years I led a QA team and was heavily involved in the hiring process. Some of the worst ones are written entirely as a character from a game, or spend an excessive amount of effort trying to show off in-game accomplishments. Wow Armory links always make me fasapum. My favorite, however, was an application for a QA tester that was 6 pages of wall-to-wall -wall text in which he began with a skills section that included helping to organize an annual KKK rally in Alabama, experience handling explosives, experience handling CNH. He then went into a multi-paragraph diatribe about why his experiences with the KKK were so important. He never explained the bullets about explosives and drugs, but he really seemed to feel that his professional approach to racial purity would make him an excellent software tester. When hearing about this, People often say, he had to be trolling, perhaps, but those 6 pages read like someone who really thought they were being convincing. I also had one I've always liked that had an interest section that included movies, TV and video games. Like we were going to read it and say holy crap guys, this guy likes movies. Steam resistant. The heading on his resume read, extremely dedicated and had a couple bullet points beneath it. One of the bullet points read, Cut hand at work real bad. So did back up with needle and thread. Guy showed it to me after the interview and the thread was still sticking out of the healed skin. Here he had cut his hand during a lunch break while attempting to open a can of off-brand ravioli without a can opener. At my last job I had to interview a woman who listed a lot of tennis awards she had won in high school. She was 35. Had one person that put their previous responsibilities were moping and hovering. Always wanted to meet that guy but didn't want to bring the officer's mood down. I have had dudes show their certificate for completing court mandated anger management class. Like, I'm glad you did that, and you've come a long way, I'm sure. But I'd wait until you land the gig before bringing that stuff up. What did you say buddy? I'll have you know I could kick your ass right now, but I won't. Enthusiastic when prompted. Was successful in a ball hockey tournament. My GF used to work in a restaurant. Once a young student came in with her CV. Pretty standard stuff for the most part. Listed under accomplishments she had. World Lego Champion. Division F. I've been playing papers. Please again. And I'm seriously considering putting my extensive experience with that game on my resume. Hundreds of hours of experience using a paperwork simulator to improve reading comprehension, time management, efficiency, customer relations, and ability to manage unforeseen complications and interruptions. Extensive proofreading and document authentication experience. By far the best I have seen is a guy put two time winner of poo of the month at ratamapoo.com on his list of accomplishments. I brought him in for an interview just to meet the person that would list this crap. He killed it in the interview and got the job. So I resume with Reddit come on it once. You have been visited by the holy doggo like this video and subscribe for a good luck. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.